Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to conform when you don't have EDLs, cut lists, XML, change notes. Uh, if all you have is a picture, fear not, you can still create your own change EDL and use that to conform Pro Tools or your ADR database or whatever. Okay, so uh, firstly open your uh, block view and the movie view and load your pics. Here's my version 1. Here's my version 2. Okay, so what we're essentially going to do is find the shots in the new picture and find the same corresponding shot in the old picture and then <coughs> make ourselves some change events um, to suit. Okay, so I'm lucky in that uh, my pictures uh, start with the same frame. So I can make an event right here at the start of the film. I go events new event which is apple n and it will capture the time code theoretical time code from the old picture and from the new picture and create an event with it uh, now obviously it doesn't know which hour code your picture is so we need to set that ourselves we nudge the copy time up we nudge the paste time up so they say one hour um, the next thing, we, need, we now have the start time captured, we need to capture the end time. So we need to find the end of this chunk of film, which is still in sync. So we roll forward using these back forward buttons, until we find the point where the two pictures drop out of sync. Which is, oh, there it goes there. So the pictures are in sync right up until this point. So we want to select this point here and then capture that for our event um, now this is the last frame which is in sync but that's not the point we're looking for we're looking for this point here which is the end of that last good frame okay so shift apple o or set out times and you'll see it's taken this time here 6 11 and put it here and this time here 6 11 and put it here um, this does assume, of course, that the pictures start exactly on the hour. Um, if yours don't, it's best to try and, if they start before the hour, trim them to the hour. Um, we have a new feature in the, a, uh, the upcoming version of Conformalizer, which makes, which makes pictures a little easier to work with. Uh, okay, so we're scrolling forward now, looking for another shot in this new picture, which we can match to the old picture. Um, oh, there we go, there's one there, that looks the same. But if we scroll, uh, looks like they look similar, but they're out of sync. So we need to find a point which we can easily sync up. Let's find a point such as that cut point. Let's sync up those cut points and uh, let's see if they're the same. Okay, so I've located the new picture to the frame I'm, I'm hoping to sync. There it is. Now I click in the old picture. And I can use my keyboard's left and right buttons, the arrow buttons, to move this picture independently of the other picture. So I'm going to do this until I can find, there it is, that cut point. Now let's use the buttons down here to scroll these two pictures together and see if they're in sync. Well, they're out of sync there, but let's go backwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks, that looks in sync. Slight wobbles are all in sync. Yep. Okay. So let's find the start of that chunk. Oh, there we go. Somewhere here is the... There's the first frame which is in sync. So we'll make a new event using that those times. Apple N, new event, 617, 624. That's correct. Now we scroll forward until they fall out of sync. Oh, there it is. There, out of sync. So that's the point we want, which is our out point. Shift Apple O. Good. Okay. Uh, now the next shot, which is this one here, we need to find that shot in the old picture. So I click in the old picture. I use my right arrow to nudge forward in the film. Now here it is. What are we going to use to sync this up? Okay, let's use the text on this jacket. It's going to be easy to find a, a common frame. And there it is. So those two, those two uh, movies are now locked together. 
Um, now what I can do, rather than scrolling around, I can, I can just create a new event right here and now, and then worry about going to find the correct endpoint. So let me do that. Let's scroll them both together until I can find the first frame when they're in sync. There it is. So now I can capture that point there as the in time for that event I created, just like capturing the out time. So shift apple i for in, scroll along until they fall out of sync. It's in sync. Oh, there we go, they fell out. That's the point where they go out of sync, so that's my out point. Shift apple o, good. Okay, now I'm looking for this shot. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it goes. Now, it's a bit hard to say whether they're in sync or not. Let's go forwards until we find something more obvious. So there's a car. Ah, okay, so there's the car handle entering the frame, and it does so in the old picture too, so I'm pretty sure that they're in sync. I'll make a new event, and then I'll go backwards so I can find the best, the best in point. There it is there, shift apple i. Gets the in, scroll forward until that event finishes. It looks like we're still in sync, still in sync. Oh, dropped out of sync, okay. So there's a change there, but uh, let's find that point. There it is, that's the out point, shift apple o. Excellent, now have a quick look at our block view um, before we go much further. Here are some events, one, two, three, four. Looks like here there's a chunk missing. What do you reckon? That's the chunk on the end of this reel. Okay, so let's see, where do we get to? Let's go to the end of that edit. Okay, this is the point we got to. Now we have a shot in the new picture here, which looks like it was stolen from earlier in the reel. Let's see if we can find that shot. Yeah, somewhere there, isn't it? Okay, so now let's find something identifiable to sync it with. Oh, I know, here's a little white mark. Let's wait for that to fall off the bottom of the screen. There we go, that's off. Let's see if we can get this one to do the same thing. There we go, so they're in sync. Now let's, uh, let's create a new event. Let's wind backwards until we decide that they... There we go, that's the first frame when they're in sync. Let's capture that, shift apple i. Until they fall out of sync. There. There, shift up below. Okay, so that's our conform. Let's have a look at the block view and the list once again. Yes, yep, that looks good. That looks good. There we go, and so there's the shot which was moved from earlier in the reel to later. The only complication is uh, when you find a shot like this, you do sometimes have to you have to know where that shot came from or quickly scroll through the picture, try and figure out exactly where it is. And you can imagine that uh, with a really complicated edit, this, uh, this could be a little time consuming, but certainly a lot quicker than uh, having to reconform your whole session using guide tracks. Cool. All right. So now you can go and conform your session, ex export it, save it for later, do whatever you like.